Hello, my name is Margaret Gallagher, journalist at CBC Vancouver and host of Hot Air on CBC Radio 1. And it is my honour to introduce this special, one-of-a-kind Indigenous jazz fusion performance by Kwantlen First Nations group Stomach Schwale, also known as Warrior Spirit and the Vancouver-based jazz trio Triology. I'm grateful to be on the land of the Musqueam, Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh Nations and this pre-recorded concert was commissioned by the Audlem Brown Fort Langley Jazz and Arts Festival. It features six Kwantlen First Nations drummers and singers performing original sacred Indigenous songs and they are joined by Triology with original jazz music composed by members of the trio. This collaborative project was led by Kwantlen First Nations cultural advisor and leader of Warrior Spirit, Dennis Leon, and Jody Prosnick from Triology. Warrior Spirit members include Richie Seward, Robert Jimmy, Michael Kelly Gabriel, Cassandra Antone, and Michelle Saul. And Triology is made up of Jody Prosnick on bass, Miles Black on piano and flute, and Bill Kuhn on guitar. This performance showcases the rich culture, music, tradition, and stories of the Kwantlen First Nations community together with original jazz music in a new and innovative way. And as Kwantlen First Nations Chief Marilyn Gabriel says, this is a collaborative work of fusion art, work of reconciliation, work of acceptance. This is history in the making. It is a teaching moment on each side. It is a learning moment. This performance was recorded in the Kwantlen First Nations Longhouse and it includes behind the scenes footage and interviews with the performers on the making of the video conducted by former CBC Almanac radio host Mark Forsyth. This performance is presented by Kwantlen Polytechnic University and supported by First Peoples Cultural Council and the Vancouver Fraser Port Authority proudly representing the Port of Vancouver. Thank you so much for watching. Osiam, siamo siayes, siamo shwalakwa, eta squalawa, eta squalawa te kwantlin tmuk, ekus akurse, tsetum tim te kwamuk squi, te lito kwa kwantlin. I'd just like to welcome you all to um, traditional kwantlin territory. My traditional name is tsetum tim. This is my family, the Warrior Spirit Singers, and um, we're here to share some uh, good medicine with everybody. We thank you for being here and taking your time to thank the band. Heichka. Yes. Oh.
Hi there, my name's Mark Forsyth, and I'm a resident here in Fort Langley, a former host with CBC Radio in British Columbia, and uh, a member of the Langley Heritage Society here in the Langley region, and we're really happy to be part of the annual Jazz and Arts Festival. Uh, it's an amazing thing that's been created here, and every year it seems to get more creative and uh, more energy and, and more exciting. And two people are joining me right now after that wonderful performance to, to talk about the, the evolution of this collaboration between jazz musicians and traditional Kwantlen singers. And Dave Quinn is the artistic director at the Jazz Festival. And Dennis Leon is uh, head of Warrior Spirit. He's also cultural advisor to the Kwantlen people here. We are in Kwantlen territory right now. And uh, thanks, Dennis, for, for letting us come. And, and after that performance, how does it feel? Well, it feels really good. Um, just to have have the energy of the band singing with the with the harmony of our voice and the beat of our drum, it, it uh, the sound really took uh, the flow inside the room here felt really good with uh, all of the energy that was put out through through all of the musicians and the singers. And it's a long, long house format, and the sound is beautiful in here. It rises to the to the ceiling, and and that was part of the the special energy in, in the room, I think. Dave, where did you come up with this idea to marry jazz? You're a jazz musician, and uh, with with traditional song from from the Kwantlen. You know, right from the beginning, in 2018, we started the festival up. We wanted to involve the entire community. In my thinking about it, I wanted. To, uh, uh, compositions, uh, original compositions for this, because uh, the, the, you know the uh, First Nations uh, they have stories that they need to, that they want to tell, and I thought that it would be greatly enhanced with with another form of, of music, as, as you know, backing that up and, and collaborative working. It was just an idea, and, I, and I'm glad that we followed through with it. And Dennis, what what did you think when you heard this request? We want to do music together. Oh, I jumped at the opportunity. Like, I love all kinds of music. I grew up a, a musical person. Like, I listen to everything. I listen to blues, jazz. I even listen to heavy metal. I listen to power music, round dance, you know, just everything. Anything that's got a beat, you know, um, that's what I pick up on. I, I feed off of that. Tell us about Warrior Spirit. Who are these people, and, and how did you come together for this? Oh, Warrior Spirit is... Um, We've been singing together for a few years, um, but we've never had a name for our group, and this uh, name came to us. Um, we wanted to share our medicine through the, the beat of our drum and the harmony of our voice, um, and just, you know, just be part of the community and, you know, putting ourselves out there and collaboration with the the lovely jazz band that, you know, I couldn't put enough good words for them. It's, I'm excited. Dave, you know how to pick people because you have to tell us a little bit about Triology. The, these are some of the finest musicians uh, yeah, they're in, in British Columbia yeah. and beyond, right? Yeah, yeah. The, um, well, uh, tri Triology, it's uh, 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 Jody Posick is the leader, Miles Black and, uh, and, and Bill Kuhn, and all three are, are exceptional composers and so that made a difference to me right there just the fact that they would be able to write each a song themselves you know and um so the and the idea the idea of of covering was that the, the jazz it had, to, it had to be jazz and we wanted to um the first nations group spirit uh, warrior spirit to to uh to feel that and, and be able to and have that interaction. It's all about the interactiveness of what the experience is all about. It's almost magical. Well, it was magical, you yeah. know.
We are back to talk with Triology uh, about this collaboration and uh, what it felt like and what it, what it took to, to actually create this, this wonderful mix and blend of, of jazz and traditional song from the Kwantlen people as well. Jody, Bill, and Miles are, are with us. And uh, Jody, how does it feel after this uh, performance and, and you've had a chance to uh, come down from it and absorb it? Oh, I feel emotional. Um, I feel grateful. Uh, I feel like my heart has opened. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just been a wonderful journey to this point and I'm very excited to, to share it uh, with the world. Um, yeah, it's been an amazing journey. And when Dave comes to you from the Jazz Festival and says that we'd like you to, to work with the, the Kwantlen uh, Warrior Spirit on, on this, what did you think and how did you go about that? Um, well, I was really excited because collaborations are so much fun. Um, I was excited by the challenge of it and also I had a real reverence and respect for um, making sure we handled the collaboration with love and intention and uh, generosity of spirit. Um, and, uh, and, and also I, I did ask a number of friends who are from uh, the Indigenous community for a little bit of guidance because I wanted to make sure we entered this space with the reverence I think it deserves, especially for this moment in history. Um, I know we've all been deeply impacted by the news and uh, this was sort of a really profound opportunity to enact uh, reconciliation in real time through art, which art of course is an invitation, it's not a dictation. So it is in a way kind of one of the perfect things to, 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 to gather in community and um, to share and to uh, hopefully, as our beautiful friends have talked about, uh, offer some medicine uh, for ourselves uh, and to each other and to the world at large. That's a message about reconciliation, I guess, that we could all take to heart. Uh, the, your approach to, to the musical collaboration, too. Bill, what was it like to perform in this space, this longhouse space? Well, first of all, it's a beautiful space. It's, there's a lot of wood in this space. And I think, like me, like most musicians, I feel that when you're playing in a space um, that has great acoustics, it inspires you. And so, you know, that, that alone was, would have been great. But then, then you know, knowing that this space is, is so important um, to the people we were playing with, it made it even more meaningful. And um, so, yeah, the space on its own is, it's got beautiful acoustics. And then there's the history of the, of the space and the importance of, this, of the space and the indigenous culture. So it was quite moving. Miles, how, how did you approach bringing the two worlds together, jazz and, and traditional song? Well, yeah, that it sort of befuddled, I think, the three of us when we first thought about how to do this, because you don't often think of the music of the Indigenous people and jazz coming together. And the three of us had to think carefully about what we were going to bring to the table in terms of compositions, what would be the kind of music we could create that would allow interaction and, and and uh, also inspire, uh, inspire all of us to participate all together in the music. So that, it was just really kind of almost a social experiment, Mark, for us. A lot of listening at the, at the beginning, I bet. Yeah, for, well, at first we were very tentative. <laughs> in fact, I don't think we jammed with them at all at first. We just listened a lot yeah. carefully. And we, had, we were lucky to have a few occasions to come into this wonderful space and be just present with the music. And then uh, we had to go home and do a lot of just sort of daydreaming about how this would fit. Um, yeah, and that listening session went both ways, right? Because the spirit warriors were also listening to what we did and we were listening to them, so. And then we had to, we, I think we were encouraging them to say, no, please feel free to join us. We love the sound of your mm -hmm. instruments uh, along with our music. It's fascinating to hear that combination. And then for us to participate with them was a, a great privilege, a, a wonderful, soulful healing opportunity mm. for us too. Jody, I think that starts to happen in the song Schweik. Uh, mm -hmm. As people were listening, uh, that's when we heard you start playing together. Mm -hmm. And how, how did you create that little space in, in the middle to come together? Well, you know, it's interesting. I think uh, one of the 
lessons I've learned through this process uh, is that uh, relationships take time and uh, creativity is, is something that an imaginative play is something you can't will to happen. You sort of have to invite, create the space and then invite the, the spirit to move and the, the art to take shape. So I think having a couple of times to gather together and to create a sense of relationship, we had some laughs, uh, mm -hmm. you know. And that trust sort of The developed, trust right? develops yeah. over time. Um, and then you don't will it to happen. It just happens. And, and again, it's just, it's literally walking in the space with a, a, a humble heart. Um, and... Um, and, and in, in circle, really, we were in circle together. And also with the idea that we were invited into their space as well. So just how can we serve? Um, and yeah, it just emerges from there. It's, it's kind of magical. And I think it, at jazz at its best is that as well. I, and uh, mm -hmm. so in some ways, um, being jazz artists and improvised mus improvising musicians and composers, uh, you know, we sort of have our satellite dishes out anyway. And so, and you're also looking for nonverbal cues and you're trying to like read and read the room and sort of offer something that isn't taking the energy away, but contributing to the energy as a collective. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm talking with my hands. Then the pizza and the bannock sealed the deal at the end, yes. right? Yes, <laughs> and then we had pizza. Yeah. That was great. <laughs>
are going to continue our discussion of this wonderful collaboration. Michael uh, Gabriel is joining us, a, a member of Warrior Spirit. Congratulations, everyone. That was a fantastic performance that I could tell from the smiles and some tears that it was successful. It was moving. Actually, Michael, what, what did you think of this? I know it was something special. And the reason why I knew it was something special is because me and my brother, say something right here, my brother, he sits right beside me. He's one of my teachers in my community. And we brought a new song because I could hear songs, I catch songs along my journeys of life. And we just completed that song and we brought it here. And they said, let's warm up this room. Let's warm up our voices. That's what Bro said. So we started singing that song. And I knew it was special because right away, all three of these wonderful people that are gifted with the instruments caught on. And just like that, we connected and they started drumming, strumming along with us. Dennis, I think you call it good medicine that you were uh, uh, sending out here, here in the long house. And what, is there a new description for what you've created? You have the traditional song plus the jazz. What, what comes of that? What do you think it might be? Um, I'm not sure what to call it, but it's definitely some, some new uh, feelings and vibes that, you know, that are passed through, kind of goes right through our soul. And, um, and the way all the music was expressed all together collaboratively, you know, it just, it felt really right. What's contained in these songs, Michael? Um, prayer, and when I think of um, the collaboration, the words that keep popping in my head when I'm praying right now is soul and shwili. Soul and spirit hand in hand together. When we sit together and we collaborate, that's why I feel soul and shwili, you know, to honor our brothers and our sisters that made this music of jazz and then also to honor our ancestors that left it behind.
the underpinning of this is the traditional Kwantlen's songs, stories, prayer, but you each brought your own compositions to this. And Bill, maybe talk a bit about what you created to be part of, of this experiment. Uh, yeah, well, Dave sent us some video of this group playing, and uh, we all watched it, and, and I think kind of like what Miles said, you know, how are we going to, this is great as it is, what are we going to do to make, not to make it better, but how are we going to find our place in this, you know? And so, yeah, that was a great idea, I think, to, to have us uh, bring compositions to that. And, and in my case, I was able to um, listen to that video, and then I went and I wrote this tune, and it kind of, some tunes take a long time. This one kind of appeared, and um, Michael was talking about how there are songs in the air, and sometimes I believe that if you can kind of listen. Grab it. And grab it, yeah. So that's kind of what happened to me, and I ended up calling it, first I called it Tomorrow, but then I thought of a song from Annie, and I, I don't think that would work very well. So I changed the name, and I called it Better Days Ahead. Good choice. Yeah. Miles, so mm. talk about uh, what you brought to Right, to well, I brought in a song called Traditional Man, which I wrote. The, the genesis of that tune came about when I was 20 years old, and uh, it started with a bass line. They just like, boom, boo, 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 do, 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 da, boom, 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 boom. So that had been rattling around in my head since '86, <laughs> and all these years, my wife is like, "I love that bass line, Miles. You've got to finish it. Please finish tradition." I had the title. And then finally one day, it, I, just, I just went bang and wrote it out like really quickly. I, I guess because it had been gestating for decades. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and it just felt right. It felt like it had all the elements in it. And it goes to kind of a jazz feel in the middle, like a blues thing, like a Nina Simone, Coltrane kind of vibe in the yeah. middle, uh, which I think it bring, incorporates some of the better elements of our trio, you know time and place for everything, right? Yeah. This was the right yeah. time. And, and Joey? Okay. Yeah, so I brought in two compositions. I actually wrote um, many years ago as well, and I released on my last record. Um, and they actually have a vocalist, so there are lyrics, poetry to it. But the reason why I pulled these songs in particular, I thought they were appropriate, they really were written uh, in response to uh, nature, being in nature, and using nature as sort of a medicinal place for me, a place to go to, to heal from things that were happening in my life at the time. Coupled with a, I had have done a lot of collaborating with a, a wonderful poet named Celeste Snowbird, and she wrote this piece of poetry called Ancient Yearning, um, and we did uh, a piece together, and I wrote the song when I heard the piece of poetry, and the words were just so appropriate. We are the language of stars, torsos spinning in light. Primal song resides in our flesh. Commune with the infinite under underbelly of heart. Let what we long for come to the surface. Tears and trees are our prayers. Creation lives within us. Ancient beginnings yearning for home. So that piece of poetry was like, that is this project. And then the, we segued into Storm, which has this drumming in it. Um, it's, and I, it was actually kind of an Afro-Cuban groove. Um, and the lyric I wrote with my little son in the kitchen, we used to march around the kitchen. And it was, the storm is coming, got to hold on tight, put your roots down deep, lift your branches high, because beyond the stars, beyond the clouds, there are stars in the sky. And it was my little mantra for my three-year-old at the time. Um, yeah, so it just felt that the, the lyric, even though we didn't sing the lyric, it was embedded in the song, it felt yeah. appropriate. O siam, siam o siayas, e kwasa mi a lap ta kwantlin, sastamuk, hai chapka, hai chka. O siam, I just wanted to uh, make that nice, my cold, Michelle, Cassandra. Sheila, Tara, my wife, the chief, stock was done. I just always honored to come to share medicine with each and every one of you, but also to listen to somebody else's medicine. Sometimes we need this ourselves. So it works, works together hand in hand. And then for the ones that are doing the work, I thank you for the beautiful gifts that you have. You know, and we do a lot of these pre-recordings and we know the gifts that you each and every one of you have and your beautiful team. 
I'm just honored to be here with our family to come and share medicine, and I hope we've done you well. Well, see you. Hey, Swill, CIA. Thank our Chito Siam, that's a teaching that my uncle Yuchin Harry shared with me. We always thank our creator and thank our ancestors before us because without them being strong and surviving through lots, through residential school, smallpox, and all that, and surviving for us to keep our culture alive. Mm -hmm. Our Chito Siam always shares all the time. Our old ones there, the creator has left things for us behind to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And our drums are one of the things that bring people together, but also channels our ancestors to come down and join us through this time, this tough time through COVID. So I hope these songs that we share, these prayers, this is not a performance. This is our way of prayer. So ACM. And pass it over to our hereditary CM staff with them to share mm -hmm. some words. All humans need medicine. They need prayer at some point in their life. And to have this combination today felt so right. It, uh, it um, just felt right. I felt the ancestors, these are our ancestors sitting here with, beside us. There's no, you see, it may seem like an empty office empty building, but it is with all our ancestors, even yours, even yours, are all down here today saying prayer for all of us around the world. Um, we're not stingy with our gifts. These ladies have the most beautiful voices um, in the world, and the men have such strong, strong medicine. But me, I forget, I, I'm, I'm part of it, and I just want to listen. That's how powerful it is to me and to our people. And I am so glad we're sharing it together. Yaista, working together. Lots of them, one mind, one heart, one spirit. On an island, it's not so much, we're all one. And we have to continue sharing that with everyone because our uh, world's in turmoil right now. But we can keep showing them little ways in little gestures that we can get along. We don't have to have any words, any words to be together today. It was all based on the love of your prayers, your music, our prayers and our beliefs and our, and our um, ancestors and our prayer, our, our belief of prayer. And I thank you for sharing that, not being stingy, you pass your teachings on. You pass that medicine on. We all need it. Like my husband said, it was our medicine today, having you friends here today. We all need to fill ourselves up with love and kindness and respect. So I thank you for coming out and sharing your beautiful medicine. Asya.